Hey everyone, welcome back to Body Bags. Uh, it's yet again another year week. Uh, the year we're covering this week is uh, 1982. So I have got the... I've got the, the wonderful opportunity to talk about one, one of the movies I really dig, and that's The Slayer. Uh, this movie, 1982... Uh, basic plot of it, um, I'm wondering how far I should go with the thing, uh, essentially, this woman, you know, she's having these dreams, and these dreams have a tendency to come true, so they're, so, uh, you know, they go to this island, like, uh, it's like, um, they're, they're two couples, they go there, and people start dying and stuff, and, and it's all kind of hooked with the dream. Now, what this does do, though, is, um, look at that cover. Don't let that cover fool you. You see that movie, you think, you know, it's like a supernatural, like, demon-type monster flick. You know, e even that cover, you know. You think the same thing. This movie is, uh, this movie is a slasher film. You do get a creature type thing, but that's not until literally like the last like 10 minutes kind of thing. And there's a question as to whether it's actually really there or is it in her head or what, you know, it's a bit, it's a little odd that way. Um, but what you have up until that point is you have, so it's 90 minutes long, last 10 minutes, so you have roughly 80 minutes of a really solid little nasty f slasher flick that's really fun and really good. Uh, you get some innovative kills. You get some neat, you know, creature designs, as you can no doubt tell from that thing. But what this movie does, which I really appreciate, I don't think there's anyone in this movie under 30, okay? And what I love about it is the fact they're not like 30 year olds playing 18 year olds. They're adults. The characters are like 30, 35 year old adults. And the thing is, how often do you see a slasher film really where, you know, where the people in it are adults? It's, they're usually teenagers, they're usually like early 20s type thing. It's neat to see it with a bit like of a, an older demographic, I guess you could say. I'd almost say it goes more into, like, almost feels like, um, like some Jalo. Like how they end up, you know, like most of the characters in, in Jolly are usually, you know, older people. And I, I, as an older dude, I appreciate it. Let's just say that. All in all, really solid film. This release through Arrow is crazy because, let's put it this way, I saw this movie originally on a VHS tape. I rented it from the video store back in the day. It had The Slayer and it had Scalps. It was a double feature, literally about like a six hour tape. Uh, it was kind of cool, honestly. But back then I didn't actually really like The Slayer that much. I liked Scalps more. Mm, shows what I knew as a kid. Um, but this Blu-ray is... It, I, don't, I don't know how a movie of this caliber got this nice of a release. And it's the sort of thing... I've, I say this a lot sometimes with things from Vinegar Syndrome and everything like that. Where I, I just don't understand how a movie that was essentially forgotten to the time, to like the VHS, like, format, if you will, can end up looking so good when it's transferred over onto Blu-ray. This looks damn good. If I remember right, I think, when did this come out? 2017. I think this was actually, this might have been my release of the year of 2017, because I was that taken aback by how well like, how good it looked for such, like, a, you know, a movie that nobody talked about. You know? It's a solid flick. And, all in all, you know, you can definitely do worse 
when it comes to slasher films. And I still put this under the slasher genre more so than anything else. Because it is. It's like a, it's a total slasher film, and it's great. For a rating, I give this 8 out of 10. Really solid, you know... Damn it, more people need to be talking about these things. Okay, so, yeah. The Slayer. 8 out of 10. Um, I th I don't know if this is still in print, this Arrow version. But if it is, um, I suggest picking it up. Um, go out of your way to pick it up. Even, you know, it don't break the bank. But, you know, if, if you want a good slasher film... Uh, you can definitely do worse than The Slayer. And it's loaded with features as well. Um, I'm just taking a look back here. I think you have two commentary tracks. Got like a making of documentary. You got all, all well, you know, it's your, your basic Arrow special features, you know. It's loaded and it's damn good. So yeah, 8 out of 10, Slayer. Good shit. That's it for me. See you next time.